according to the media, this is normal and this is extremism. Is anyone else sick of society treating women like we are the same as men and like we need to operate the same as them even though we are we run on a completely different hormonal cycle and we require more sleep than them and we're not the same as them physically, mentally, emotionally or biologically? Anyone else relate? I just went and saw Oppenheimer with my husband last night and then today I <laughs> today I saw this this woman Tanya Roth is slamming Oppenheimer for being sexist because there's no women in the first 20 minutes of the movie. This is legit. She tweeted it and everything. She <laughs> so this article kind of goes into it and it says the film which explores the life of physicist J. Robert Oppenheimer who created the atomic bomb was released this weekend to rave reviews and I, I agree. Let's read that back. It is a movie about the man the man, not just a man, the man who created the atomic bomb. Ma'am, I don't know where you missed the memo. This is not a movie about women at all. And that's okay. There are men and women in this world, and both of them have stories. And guess what? Sometimes there's stories about men that are actually worth telling. The responses to this, mwah. This is how I feel. I don't care if there are any women in whatsoever as long as it's historically accurate as possible given the medium and interesting slash entertaining slash keeps me engaged exactly that's what movies are for anyone who says fun fact is never actually saying anything fun and is annoying it's a historical movie fun fact go away this is the best one should they have changed history to make it more inclusive for your feelings <laughs> that's the epitome of what's wrong right now do you know what that word means? The movie is the movie is called Oppenheimer. It's about Robert Oppenheimer. Go watch Barbie if you're that pressed about it. I'm not gonna lie. I used to be a feminist until I saw biological women voting for biological men as woman of the year. The day I see biological men voting for biological women as man of the year, I'll be a misandrist. He's not ignoring you. As a husband and father, he's just come to realize that his wants, needs, and desires simply don't matter. So he just works, sleeps, and repeats. I don't know who needs to hear this, but stop having that man beg you to be intimate with you. Like, seriously, you want to be his person so bad. You want to be the, the sole provider for this man. But yet you won't even initiate intimacy with him. And then when he gestures towards you or tries to come with, uh, to you and, and be physically intimate, you turn him down. Do you know that you're emotionally and psycholo psychologically abusing that man? Stop doing If you have ever wondered why it's so hard to maintain a happy long-term relationship, one of the many reasons is that no one wants you to. Let me show you an example. All right, we got a simple video here of a wife hugging her husband before he leaves for work with a pretty simple message. It says, I want to be a wife my husband is glad to come home to and sorry to leave. Nothing harmful. She's dressed like Belle from Beauty and the Beast, but it's not hurting anybody. Now I'm going to scroll through the comment section without skipping anything. And that, dear boys and girls, is called a toxic relationship. And he probably cheats on her all the time. Yep, this is dramatized and pathetic. We no longer live in a society that can support two people, much less two people with children on an average income. No man wants a woman who just plays dress up all day and can't support herself. Imagine if instead of telling him about the baking that happened today or how much laundry you did, you changed out of the flowy skirt, contributed to the financial pot so he doesn't have to work crazy hours, and then you'd actually have lots to tell each other when you both came home at the end of each day. To which she tries to defend herself, says they already have lots to talk about, and he owns his own business, so he makes his own hours. But they don't care. You're the one who makes him leave. If you worked, he wouldn't have to work so many hours. What's up with all these homely stay-at-home wives lately? I don't want to see this crap. He's off to the strip club after work. Did she like club a family of baby seals somewhere in that video and I missed it? The irony is not lost on me that they hate so much that all she did was say that she wants to be a good wife to her man that they're now going to blame her for the choices that this man made with his own autonomy. 
That's right, men hold all the power until a woman willfully chooses to be nice to him, and then she's taking advantage of him. Y'all are so unhinged in your single and lonely rage, you can't even pick a lane. But women love their men, you weirdos. You're goddamn right.